I'm going to show you how to get an out-of-state Airbnb property that's going to make a lot more than you probably thought. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks, the show where I work with everyday investors to help them hit their goals in the real estate space. Now, today I'm working with my dude, George. George, you're from Long Beach, Cali. You came here to Cleveland. You and I, we've been working together for a while looking at a lot of properties. You came here to do multifamily in the low-income space, right? Because you're looking for real estate that's a hell of a lot cheaper than what you're seeing out there in Long Beach. And I get that, dog. But, you know, I've probably done like eight or nine videos for you at this point and what i'm seeing is uh a couple things right i think you're <clears throat> having a hard time understanding like what you're gonna get with your dollar in the cleveland market right like you're looking at a lot of like hundred year old properties and uh you're thinking oh because this property is in this shape i could probably get it for this price when in reality bro they're selling for like this price right so I, I, I think you're having a hard time seeing the value there in these 100-year-old properties. I know you're from Long Beach, and properties are a lot newer out there, right? Uh, but you got to be competitive, right? Like You're like, oh, man, this is 100 years old. I might need to fix this, this, and this long term, so I'm going to offer these people half of what they want. Man, bro, it doesn't work that way when freaking there's a line of other people that are willing to pay double than you, right? So uh, what I thought would be a good idea for you is maybe we shift gears a little bit. Look at something a little bit different, something different that you may not have already thought about, right? Short-term rentals, Airbnb, VRBO. The reason I say this, bro, is because here at Holton Wise, with our Airbnb business, we're targeting totally different properties than we target with our normal low-income rental business, right? We're looking at A-grade stuff, new construction type properties, something that may be a little bit more familiar with you. You might see those properties and feel a lot more comfortable with them, right? And best of all, it's still Cleveland, bro. It's still way cheaper than Long Beach. So yeah, you're going to pay more per property, but it still ain't nowhere near what you're paying out there in Long Beach. So uh, without further ado, I want you to take a look at the footage of this particular property uh, that I think might work for you. I looked, uh, I looked at this a while ago, didn't result in a deal. And I'm thinking for you, I think this might make a lot more sense than what we've been doing, right? Because it feels like we're kind of at a brick wall here. So I really wanted to change your thinking a little bit. Take a look at this footage and let me know what to do. Hey, Steve. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just saving money on my rental property insurance. Oh, my, Steve. Take me now. Holton Wise. Real estate investing made easy. Wow, I'm so glad I clicked that link below. Welcome back. Let's get into the meat, man. The meat and potatoes, dude. The meat and potatoes, what I really want to do. First thing is first, 5807 Bridge, Cleveland 4 for 102. It's recently been reduced again, right? Started off very high. Recently, they're at 315. Now they're at 299. I'm going to push that even harder for you. I want to try to pick this up at 290 $25,000 less than the price was a week ago, okay? 290 is what I think I can do for you, right? This is a high-end property in the heart of it all, okay? Like, I know there's a lot of out-of-town investors that watch Holton Wise TV, okay? A lot of you guys out there, right? This is like the A-grade neighborhoods where you hear about the resurgence of Cleveland, okay? Right? Ohio City, Detroit Shoreway, Edgewater a little bit, downtown, right? Where the big stuff is happening, right? Indians or the Guardians, Cavs, Browns, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, right? All that stuff, right? That's all That's all the big ticket stuff, right? And this property, right? I think this would be great as an Airbnb property because it's right there, right? So, like, when people are coming to Cleveland for a couple days, right? A lot of you out-of-state investors, right? You guys want to come into Cleveland, 
right? You want to come into Cleveland to tour all the neighborhoods, right? Well, you don't want to stay in like a Section 8 neighborhood, right? This is the kind of neighborhood you would stay, right? So like this Airbnb property can probably be something that a lot of out-of-state investors are staying at, right? Right in the heart of it, right in the heart of Gordon Square, okay? And it's super nice. It's super modern, dude. This is almost brand new, right? This is another thing, right? You get in the Cleveland market, you're dealing with 100-year-old properties. They're really starting to crack down on lead-based paint issues. This bad boy, when was this built? Let me find it. This was built in 2005, right? So no lead-based paint issues, right? This was built 16 years ago, right? You come to the Cleveland market, a lot of you guys, what you're dealing with this property is built in like 1905, right? So very, very new property, okay? So super low risk area, all the new development, all the gentrification, right? It's a town home, but there is no HOA to worry about. So we got nobody coming in telling us like, do, 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 hey man, you can't do short term rentals. No, this is good. And look at this thing. It's mint, dude. Look at this. You got the loft look. You got all these windows. This is perfect. This is what people want when they come stay in the Cleveland area for a few days, right? It's perfect, fully equipped. We don't got to touch it. There's no reno here, right? So that's going to increase your cash on cash return. We're going to keep that cash on cash return high because most of the money for this investment is coming from the bank. Look at this super nice loft area, okay? This is cool. You're looking down there. You got the industrial looking fans. This area, right? This property, it's a two bed, three bath. But look, dude, check this out, right? This little loft area for our purposes, like, it's like another bedroom, dude. We're going to probably slap two beds, maybe four if we do bunk beds, right? Because we want to sleep as many guests as we can, right? So for a long-term rental, no, it's not a legal bedroom. For a short-term rental, absolutely. We're slapping beds over here, dude. This is this is what it is, right? The more guests we could sleep with our listing, the more money we make, right? But this this is mint, right? We don't have to touch this, okay? Don't have to do nothing here. Just, you know, furnish it, right? Furnish it, put TVs, but it's legit. The guests got a nice garage right here when they come in, right? Just park their car in the garage, bada bing, bada boom. Man, they're off, they're running, they're hitting the town, okay? Super low risk, right? So, all that's cool, it looks cool, it's nice, the neighborhood's nice, but if it doesn't make us money, who cares, right? I hear you, let's talk. Now, it's two bed, three bath, but again, we got that loft space too, so we're going to put some more beds in there. We're going to sleep a ton of people, folks, right? So, because of that, if we were able to rent it out every night at the estimated price point, which is 400 pretty conservative estimate, we would be pulling in 12400 a month, okay, or 148 k a year. But, dude, you're crazy if you're thinking you're renting your short-term rental every day of the year, right? It's not happening, okay? So I have your performance estimates here, your fixed and variable expense estimates, right? Cuyahoga County, we're running a 38% vacancy on short-term rentals, okay? 62% occupancy, right? So after you factor in all that, the cleaning fees, the property management fees, because my team, Holton Wise, we do it all. We will be the super hosts on all the sites. And it's not just Airbnb, dude. It's VRBO. It's travel. There's a whole bunch of them. We're there hammering it out for you, okay? After everything is all said and done, I believe we should clear, on average, forty three fifty nine eleven a month for you after everything's all said and done. Now, warm weather months will be better. Cold weather months will have higher vacancy. That's just the nature of the beast, okay? That's just how it works. But with everything, on an average year, I anticipate you pulling in a little bit over 50, right? Now, the total investment, I want to get this for you for 290. They're asking 299. I believe I can get it for you for 290. We don't have to do any rehab. It's a brand new property, right? 15, 16 years old. That's freaking as new as it gets in Cleveland, right? The only thing we got to spend up front is about 25 G's to furnish it, dude. Flat screens, internet, Wi-Fi, couches, beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds, more beds. The more beds, the more butts, the more butts, the more money, the more money, the happier you are, the happier I am. It's all about money. That's what you're here for. If you're not interested in making money, I don't know why you're this far into the video. That would be crazy, right? This is a money show, okay? So, 315 all in. But here's the kicker. Here's the great part. This is real estate. The bank's kicking in almost all of it, 217 and a half, dude. Let's have the bank kick in 217 and a half. All you got to do is cover the down payment, which is 72 and a half. Then after the fact, drop 25 Gs to furnish it, deck this bad boy out. Give our guests a five-star experience. Premium property, premium location, premium price, premium price, premium ROI. ROI equals money. Again, that's why you're here, right? Which should, all told, 
Net out to be around a 42% return on your money because, again, the bank is bringing three pieces of the four-piece pie to the project, right? So this, this right here, this is a great alternative to people that are used to just dealing with low-income stuff, Section 8 investments, right? You can do those, but you might as well, you know, take your portfolio, okay, and diversify it a little bit. Get a high-end property such as this, okay, deal with lower risks and overall a much higher return. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.